Now, midway through its life, this Audi Q7 is getting a makeover for 2020. When it arrives, it'll come with sharper exterior styling, a new cabin, and a better engine. One of the key improvements to this new turbocharged 3.0-litre V6 is the addition of a mild hybrid system. Now, unlike Mercedes-Benz, Audi is going to bring its 48-volt-based system to Canada. The reason? It saves fuel. In this case, Audi says about 0.7 litres per 100 kilometres. The reality is, most people will see better numbers than that. Up front, Audi's optional HD Matrix LED headlights with laser light high beams and a sharper grille give the Q7's front end much more visual punch. There are also stronger character lines through the side and a sharper back end. Taken individually, the changes are relatively small, but add them together and they make a significant difference to the Q7's visual appeal. The latest Q7 gets a new 3.0-litre turbocharged V6 with a 48-volt-based mild hybrid system. The V6 makes 335 horsepower and a rewarding 369 pound-feet of torque anywhere from 1,370 rpm. As peak torque turns up 750 rpm off idle, there is no turbo lag off the line and the mid-range is very strong. The numbers tell all. The new Q7 runs to 100 km an hour in 5.9 seconds and it accomplished the 80 to 120 passing move in 3.7 seconds. The new engine drives all four wheels through an eight-speed automatic transmission and Audi's Quattro system. On the run around the ring of Kerry, the wet and slippery roads could not make the wheels spin even when the gas was hammered from a standstill. It speaks to the system's proficiency. The Q7's driving dynamics are excellent. The S-Line's air suspension with adaptive damping and a 15mm lower ride height controls body roll very well. Factor in the optional active roll stabilization and four-wheel steering, and the Q7's handling is sorted and then some. It actually feels more like a sporty wagon than it does a crossover. Finally, the interior makeover is plush. Pride of place goes to the latest dual-screen MMI infotainment system. It is much sharper to look, and it's as easy as easy gets to use. Throw in Audi's slick virtual cockpit, sumptuous seating, and all the mod cons including a head-up display, and the driver's life is as easy as it is fun. Now, while the changes to this Q7 are hardly earth-shattering, the combination does make for a better package. Sharper looks on the outside, a much nicer cabin on the inside, and that 3.0-litre V6 with its mild hybrid system works very nicely. I'm Graham Fletcher for Driving.ca.